What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to another all-new Star Wars video, this time with a follow-up to last week's videos regarding that major leaked report about Ryan Johnson's new Star Wars trilogy. If you didn't see the video, you can check it out at the link in the description below or at the end of the video, but either way, here's a quick rundown. The planned trilogy is tentatively titled Edge of Unknown, and in the vein of previous reports, it will be almost completely disconnected from the rest of the Star Wars films, set in the unknown regions of the galaxy and taking place thousands of years before the prequels and original trilogy. The film would follow a massive conflict between alien species, resurrecting two fan-favorite races, the Chiss Ascendancy and the Yuuzhan Vong. In last week's video, we broke down some of the reasons to buy into this new rumored leak, so we aren't going to focus on that this week and are going to be accepting it as real, at least for the purposes of this video. Instead, we wanted to shine a light on how the Chiss and the Vong are being changed for this new trilogy and their return to Star Wars canon. Yes, the new trilogy will see changes to both races. The Chiss are hyper-intelligent beings and have to put all of that brain power into defeating the Vong, who are as tricky to beat as ever, despite some major changes to them as well. The Chiss ascendancy looks to be relatively the same from the Legends canon. They're still a very smart, proud race with a sizable holding in the galaxy that remained largely untouched despite the Republic's rise at roughly the same time. Their intelligence and commitment to discipline, reflected in a sizable and successful military, has made the ascendancy incredibly xenophobic, believing most other outsiders to be beneath them and as such are very isolationist. The Yuuzhan Vong, comparatively, are set to see some pretty significant changes from their Legends counterparts. In the Legends canon, a big part of what made the Vong such a fearsome opponent was their complete immunity to the Force, a vexing challenge for Luke Skywalker and his legions of young Jedi in training. Instead, the Vong now have a strange and powerful ability to connect to the dark side of the Force, which allows them to regenerate. They're also no longer invaders from a distant galaxy. Instead, they are also inhabitants of the Unknown Regions, much like the Chiss. If it sounds like a lot of changes, one thing is definitely not being altered. Their technology will still be 100% organic, which now mixes interestingly with their ability to regenerate, so this power basically extends to their ships and bases, which are more or less all self-repairing. We aren't sure whose side we would be on in this film, but if it's handled like the Star Wars films nowadays, we could see protagonists on both sides, potentially working together to stop the war or following a group of people as they've been caught in the middle. But with the way the Vong were handled in the Legends canon, somehow I just can't see them being protagonists of this film, or the kind of aliens that we'd want to root for. On the other hand, while the Chiss are a little bit better, if they're as high and mighty as they're usually portrayed, that'd be a tough sell too. Either way, as Theron is evidence of the Chiss Ascendancy surviving into the original trilogy era, it seems like they might come out on top, and while we don't have evidence of the Vong surviving, they very well could make it too, but we'll just have to wait and see. Let me know what you think of these changes, and if it affects how you view this potential new trilogy, but that's gonna do it for me here. Thanks for watching, don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw, subscribe for more great content every single day, and consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. For even more content, check out our website at hybridnetworkyt.com. And if you love HN and want to take your support to the next level, consider donating to us on Patreon as we strive to bring you the best content possible. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.